Hello everyone, this is Behnaz from FabLab Olu and welcome to this introductory tutorial to get started with digital embroidery. When you see such a nostalgic picture, it might remind you your grandma creating something beautiful with her beautiful hands. And you might also be triggered to create something just like that, but you might not have enough time or skills for doing that. That is why I am going to represent a method to you which does not value-wise compete with hand embroidery creation of your grandma, but still is beautiful in other ways and worth trying it out. The method is digital embroidery, wherein you convert your graphic into stitches and then the sewing machine will take care of the rest. The machine that we use in FabLab Olu for digital embroidery is Bernina 514, which has features such as the maximum sewing speed of 1000 stitches per minute, the maximum stitch width of 9mm and the possibility of stitching without using the foot control. In the tutorial that I put the link for you here in this slide, you will learn how to level the embroidery module, how to insert the needle, how to switch the machine on, how to choose a built-in design and prepare it for embroidery, how to start embroidery, and how to go back several stitches if the thread breaks. You should know how to hook the fabric and the stabilizer together, so watch this video tutorial for learning how to do that. And this is another video tutorial during which you will learn threading and bobbin bending. Remember to turn the machine off whenever you want to change the bobbin or needle. Um, there is also the possibility of editing your design by using the sewing machine. For example, adding text, changing the layout of the added text, changing the size of the design, moving the design items around, and so on. So, watch this tutorial to learn how to operate the machine for performing these kinds of modifications. Now, you might be wondering how to start with. Well, my recommendation would be to start with exploring the machine using the machine's built-in designs to understand how it works and what the limitations and possibilities are. And then to make a simple design of yours which is not comprised of more than two or three colors. Actually, for designing, you can use Inkscape, Illustrator, or any other software that you are comfortable with. But after designing, you should convert your images into stitches. And that is how the machine will understand it. For this purpose, you can use Bernina software for which you should ask from the FabLab staff. Or you could use other free programs such as SoArt Embroidery Digitizer. SoArt gives the option of 30 days of free trial. For this program, using simple images and clip arts are recommended. Good to know that importing both raster and vector is possible. However, vector is recommended. Also, check the list in this slide to understand what SoArt supported output formats are. Here, I put some good tutorials with useful tips for using SoArt, so just check them out. 
If you decide to use the Bernina software, then you should know um, that you can use both bitmap and vector graphics. But as a rule, bear in mind the higher the resolution is, the better the image can be used in the software. Um, we had a high school student intern in the Fab Lab who explored both Bernina machine and also the software and made this uh, short helpful video tutorial for you and for the other users so make sure to check it out another possibility for converting your design into stitches is using ink stitch which is an inkscape extension Go to the provided links in this slide to learn how to install it and how to start working with it. Also, remember to check Inky Stitch uh, supported embroidery file formats that I have listed in this slide for you. Later on, you might hear about art files here and there. That is why it is good to know that these are native file formats of Bernina software. However, the software can also open and save designs which are non-native. You should know that the main format that our Bernina embroidery machine can read is .exp. However, other formats such as .pes, .fec, .xxx, .pcs, .gef, and .dst can also be read by the machine. You just need to ensure that the software and uh, that you are using for converting your image into stitches has the possibility of exporting with one of the supported formats. If you are interested to know more about Bernina.exp files, check out the Bernina's blog page that I have provided you with um, the link in this slide. There is an interesting software named ArtLink that can be downloaded and used for free. Via this software, you ensure that the embroidery motifs can be read and embroidered correctly. This software is also installed on the FabLabs laptop. Uh, when you are done with your design and conversion of your design into stitches, you just need to copy your design on a memory stick and take it to the machine with you. Remember, take your laptop with you for possible necessary fixations of your design. Also, it is good to know that there is not any laptop next to the embroidery machine and you cannot open this PowerPoint presentation on the FabLabs laptop which has the Bernina software installed on. So, take your laptop with you because I recommend opening these slides to check the tutorials and to have access to the provided sources while you are working with the machine or software. You can also use the experiences of Fab Academy alumni who chose digital embroidery for their wildcard week. Also, you might want to check Bernina 540 user manual as well as video tutorials for the five series. Thank you everyone for your attention and happy embroidery!